Hey folks, just want to do a quick unboxing of the new Mavic Mini. Um, I've got the regular Mavic, and then I've also got a DJI Spark, but I figured, you know what, I wasn't all that impressed with the, uh, the Spark, because I wanted something a little smaller for traveling, which is why I got the Spark, and it, you know, it disconnects all the time, and it just really hasn't really been a great drone, to be honest with you. So, I saw this thing come along, and I thought, what the heck, might as well get it. I think I got it for, I think it was... $3.99 maybe, something like that. Um, I did have a coupon for Best Buy. It was my birthday, actually, so I got $40 or $50. $40 bucks off, I think it was, so it must have been about $400. So um, this is the box right here, Mavic Mini, the Everyday Fly Cam, it's called. One of the things I really like about the Mavic Mini, just to start with, is the fact that it uh, weighs under the 50 grams or whatever it is that you have to be as far as flying goes when it comes to... Uh, having to register the drone. So this right here is a drone that shouldn't have to be registered. Um, you still obviously have to follow all the rules that are out there for, for drones and whatnot, but you don't have to register it. So that's kind of a bonus. And I know there's a lot of rules coming out here in the next couple of years, and that made me a little bit nervous also, which was another reason I wanted to pick this up. Um, so it looks like we have a little piece of tape right here. We have a slice real quick. There we go. Oop, upside down. <sighs> There we go, opens just like that. Well, actually the controller, I think, is actually probably bigger than the drone itself. Um, so that's the controller. Wrap the heck out of here. Very similar to the Spark controller, actually, or the Mavic controller. Actually, I'd say pretty much identical, although the joysticks aren't on it right now. Um, that's that. <clears throat> and then we've got the Mavic Mini. Ooh, it is very, very, I can definitely say, very lightweight. There's not much to it. Um, I can quickly kind of compare it to like the Spark. Actually, I just kind of put it right on top of the Spark. Unfolded, it's, you know, obviously smaller. And when you put it right on top of the, the regular Mavic, again, you can definitely tell it is significantly smaller than the regular Mavic. Um, fold the wings, the quads out real quick. Oop, not good. Oh, tape. Okay. Yeah, so that's it right there. I will put this to the side real quick. Um, I'll actually put it right on top of the Spark. I mean, I would say fold it out. It's definitely a little bit larger than the Spark, um, but weight-wise, you can definitely feel it. it's definitely a lot lighter than the Spark. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it's just like a Mavic, but it's mini. Um, some people have complained about a little where you put your phone. I was just going to kind of quickly compare it to the Spark controller, which I have right here, just to see when it's stretched out if it's the same distance. It looks like, yeah, it looks like it's the same distance, so that shouldn't be an issue because um, I've flown the Spark plenty of times and the Spark controller is the same size as the Mavic controller, so I don't think that should be an issue. So, all right, well, I guess I'll have to uh, charge up the battery and take it for a flight and see how it is. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, please leave comments. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching the video. Like an idiot, forgot to mention there's a couple other things in the box beyond the drone and the controller. Um, I also have, you know, some basic paperwork, a bunch of paperwork. It comes with, it sounds like it comes with, I've heard, at least a couple sets of um, joysticks. Right here, it looks like it's one set. Um, looks like some charging cables and also the cable to connect your your phone to the controller for Android and Apple it looks like iOS yeah so that's what it's got no it's also got um type C uh, let's see here it's got okay it's got some some set of blades with extra screws it must be right and left because that's another set of blades with extra screws. Actually, this right here is, looks like a charging cable, actually, sorry. So this here is a, a charging cable. Can I open it up real quick? Hopefully. Yep, just a little charging cable. Um, and I did find out I'm actually charging it right now. I'll grab it real quick. Mm. But to charge it, I was kind of like, oh, how does it charge? But it's just kind of like similar to the Spark. It just plugs right in. The connector plugs in right there in the back of it. And that's where it goes um, as far as the battery goes. 
it locks in there. You got to push up a little bit. There's a little, a little button there. You just kind of push up on that a little bit, and that's the size of the battery. It goes in and out really easily, actually, unlike the old Phantoms, where sometimes it would be kind of difficult to get them in and out. Um, but that right there is definitely very simple. Um, it's on the charger. I can say one thing I'm not a big fan of already, I'm um, just kind of holding it. I'm not a big fan of these blades. They feel really, really, they just feel delicate. They feel very breakable to me for some reason. I guess we'll find out in the future. Um, but yeah, that's it as far as what else is with it. Thanks.